being black and Iranian is so very much a part of who I am. Um, it, it certainly played a role in me running for office. One, I had the tremendous support of my father who's Iranian, my mother who's black, of course, my twin sister. Uh, but, but representing, you know, those two different cultures uh, it was very important for me to keep that at the forefront when I ran for office. My black identity and my Iranian identity intersect because we are both minorities. Uh, my father came from Iran in the late 70s. Um, he was, you know, a stranger in a foreign land. My mom is black. She's from Memphis, but she was a minority as well. So I think we have this shared culture of struggle, but we also have this shared culture of triumph and beauty and our, our beliefs are so deep, our legacy is so deep, our history and our tradition is so rich. And so I think, um, you know, having those two forces, when I was in college, a comedian said that uh, my sister and I were a little bit of sand in the motherland, <laughs> which was funny at the time, but I think it really shows you have this rich tradition, this rich history from Africa, and you have this, you know, tremendous legacy from the Persian empire and having that collide uh, in today's world is really, really powerful. I think it's important for all people to be civically engaged. You know, there's an expression, if you don't have a seat at the table, you're on the menu. And when you don't vote, uh, that's exactly what happens. You have people who are making decisions for you, uh, who are in elected office, who may not represent your beliefs, have not walked in your footsteps, do not understand, you know, kind of the, the needs of, of your community. And so I think it's extremely important for Iranians and black Americans to engage, whether we're talking about folks in California or Texas, New York, or even Tennessee. Um, if we don't show up and vote, our voices are left out. My message for black Iranian American youth is this is your country too. Uh, you define what it looks like. You define your experience. You know, I am considered a geriatric millennial, uh, but for those in Gen Z and Gen A and beyond, uh, this is your future and what do you want it to look like? Whether your issues are climate control, a woman's right to choose, whether it's education or looking at the economy, um, you participating kind of creates that legacy. And no one has a right to tell you you don't belong. No one has a right to tell you that it's not your place. You know, when I was elected, I was 29 years old. In most states, you have to just be in your early 20s to get elected to office. Get engaged, find out what's important to you. Even if you're just volunteering on a campaign, that's the first step. Uh, that could lead to an entire journey.